All right, so we're gonna try and do autopilot versus di DDI or the diverging diamond intersection. So I'm just gonna go straight and we'll see how this goes. So as you can see, we're on autopilot. I'm just gonna follow the straight line. Again, autopilot's engaged. Oh man. So we got some breakage. It's pulsating. It's not sure what to do right now. It's slowing down, speeding up. All right, I'll tell it to go on the green. All right, looks like it figured it out what to do. Oh man, uh, tell it to go on green again. And we made it through. That was better than expected. So I'll try and do it one more time, go in the other direction. So I'll go and turn around. All right, we're gonna head the other direction on the diverging diamond. We're just gonna, again, go straight, but instead of being in the left lane, I'm gonna try to be here in the right lane. Oops, all right. Says auto steel, there we go. All right, so we're engaged now. Wasn't picking up the lines there for a minute. So again, we're going straight through the diverging diamond, but we're in the right lane instead of that left lane that we're in before. So as you can see, we're engaged, autopilot. Full self-driving is the package that we have. Slowing down for a red light. I think we're doing better this time. We got the red lights instead of the green lights as we did last time. All right, just turn green. We have a lead vehicle, so it shouldn't. Yep, didn't require me to acknowledge. Braked a little bit there, but we're making it through. It's following the dotted lines braking but we're pretty much through it so it followed it fairly well so I'll do it one more time and I'm going to try to engage it to make a left so the turn didn't seem too steep of a turn but I'll turn back around and try it one more time all right we're getting ready to get back on the diverging diamond but this time just for fun I'm going, to do, I'm going to attempt to try to do something uh, autopilot wasn't intended for, and that's to make a left turn onto the highway. So these turns are pretty gradual, and uh, they actually have the lines. So I want to see if it can actually do it. So I'm going to engage it once I'm in this lane, if it'll allow me. So, all right, there, it's available. I'm going to tell it to go through this light. All right. Autopilot has control. So I want to see if it can make a left turn onto the highway here. So I'm ready to take over if anything happens to go wonky. So again, here's the uh, here's the lines until it to go, and it's slowly making the turn. You can see autopilot's engage, and I'm gonna bump up my speed. People behind me are wondering what's going on. And I broke autopilot because it wasn't getting over. So, I, I tried to engage a auto lane change, but it wasn't changing. And you saw there that the uh, lane was ending. So. It partially handled it, but it didn't have the logic to uh, automatically get over and to avoid the cones. So, uh, it did a pretty good job. Now that I'm on the highway, it 
it's actually gonna let me get over. So, did a good job. Um, I wouldn't make a, I wouldn't try to make a turn um, by any means in a regular situation, but I just wanted to try that out, see how it handled it. It about handled it how I expected it. Um, as far as going straight through the uh, diverging diamond, it did a good job there. And other than that, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, that just give you an idea of how uh, full self-driving handles through an unusual situation. I know that there's a lot of videos out there with it going through roundabouts and it uh, fairly failing through that situation. So just giving another data point for you to uh, see how it handles. Thanks everyone for joining. Again, this is Paul with Audio Nucleus, and I am signing off. God bless you everyone, and drive safe.